Hi, my name is Paige Mosher, and today I'd like to talk to you about the Jovian planets. So there is actually two different kinds of planets, and the other ones are the terrestrial planets, but we're not going to mention those because we're just going to focus on the Jovian planets. And then there are four Jovian planets, and they are also known as the outer planets and giant and the gas giants. And the four Jovian planets are Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Um, some background info on the Jovian planets is actually the word Jovian came from Jupiter. The Romans did not know how big Jupiter really was, so the word Jovian actually fits for these planets because they are the biggest planets. Um, as I just said, they are the biggest planets in the solar system. Um, they are the farthest away from the sun. The terrestrial planets are the planets that are actually closer to the sun. So these planets are going to be a lot colder because they're just so far away from the sun that they're not getting enough of the heat source provided to them, unlike the terrestrial planets, which are closer. Um, they have half dozens of moons. The bigger moons actually have colored surfaces, surfaces never seen before, craters, and active volcanoes. These planets, they cannot have any kind of life forms on them because of certain things, and I'll actually get that in a minute, but we're always constantly trying to see if there's other life forms, and there's just no point in looking at these, but there is oceans on some of the moons, and we'll actually get to that in a little bit. So the lowest temperature that these planets can have is a negative 100 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's pretty cold because if you think about it, Earth has a freezing point of 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's pretty cold. So, all right. Let, they lack solid surfaces, which means that no surface features are on here, such as the mountains or valleys. A homogeneous atmosphere is not possible due to the fact that helium and hydrogen, they don't condense. Um, the cloud patterns are actually what helps with knowing what kind of weather patterns they're going to have, and also the how much sun is getting to them also tells you what kind of weather patterns they're going to have. And then the only way that we could see these weather patterns is through telescopes from, like, Earth, when you send them out, such as the Hubble telescope or the Voyager. Okay, so the first one is Jupiter. It is the largest and brightest planet. You can actually see Jupiter from planet Earth with your naked eye. The mass is larger than all the planets combined. It consists of hydrogen, helium, and hydrogen-rich materials such as methane, ammonia, and water. Some other facts about Jupiter is it's 10 times Earth's diameter and 300 times its, times its mass. Jupiter's interior is about 30,000 K, which is five times hotter than Earth. Jupiter releases more energy than it receives from the sun. It also has a great red spot, also known as a vortex. Um, the rings are thought to be made of rock dust held together by its gravitational force. It also has 63 moons, has the strongest magnetic field, and it sends out radiation waves. And then those radiation waves are actually in the radiation belts, such as the Van Allen belts, just like we have here for Earth. And it rotates every 10 hours. Some other facts is, as convection occurs in the outer layers, which causes the Coriolis effect, and then the winds from the northern hemisphere are pushed right, and the southern ones are pushed to the left. And then the winds in these jet streams are actually 300 um, kilometers per hour. And there's actually thunderstorms that we could actually see from the Voyager, um, just very much just like you would see here on Earth. So this is a picture of Jupiter and as you can see the different color bands here and then you can see the dark red spot which is actually known as the vortex again. This is just a diagram showing the different layers of Jupiter and it's nicely colored and so you could see the different layers very easily. And you can actually see the faintness of the rings right here. This is just a little video that I want to show you guys of the wind bands. 
as you can see, the wind bands are being pushed to the right and then to the left. And here's a great big red spot, also known as the vortex again. Um, it kind of looks like it's actually moving, that the red spot's moving, but it's not. It's just due to the wind bands moving, that it's just going up and around. And this is the auroral effect that we could see, which is pretty cool. Because Jupiter's not the color blue, but it has the blue auroral effect. And then these white spots right here are actually the thunderstorms that you could see. And that, I said again, was from the Voyager that we're able to see those. Okay, so the second planet is Saturn, which is the ring planet, and is the second largest planet. Its diameter is 9.5 larger than Earth. Its mass is 95 times larger than Earth. The average density is 0.7 grams per cubic centimeter. And then the chemical compositions are hydrogen, helium, hydrogen-rich materials such as water, ammonia, and methane. If you can't see the... Um, Saturn and Jupiter are actually very much alike. Um, some other facts about Saturn is it has internal heat. Um, it's because it lets off more energy than it receives from the sun. And it's cold enough for ammonia to freeze. The bands are beneath the hazy outer layer. The rings are detached, and they're actually known as handle rings. And then they circle Saturn. And then the rings actually obey Kepler's third law, and you can see that with the Doppler shift. Um, the rings are made up of water ice. The darker rings are actually the carbon compounds. And the Roche limit is talking about how if a moon comes too close to the planet, the moon actually gets pulled apart. Uh, same with Jupiter. Saturn can be seen with the naked eye. It also has winds at 1,800 kilometers per hour, and this is actually one of the flattest of eight planets. It has the oval storms, it has 62 moons, one is very large, and then Saturn also has helium droplets, which are under the clouds. This is a picture of Saturn, and you can see the, the rings, but you can't see how many rings there actually are. So this next picture is going to show you the different rings. Actually, as you can see up here, they're right there. And then... This is a picture of just the diagram of showing you the different layers, and it's nicely colored as well, um, so it's easier to read. Okay, so we're moving on. Um, Uranus, which is the ice giant, its diameter is four times Earth's mass, and then um, the mass is 15 times um, Earth's. It's made up of hydrogen, ammonia, and methane. And then some other facts about Uranus is the methane is actually caused by it, it helps with the, the blue coloring, and the Uranus is actually, like, the brighter blue. It spins every 17 hours. The temperature is 5,000 K. Its rotation axis is tipped. It's the tipped equator um, perpendicular to its orbit. There are no cloud bands in here, and it's because the sun heats in unevenly, which you'll I'll get to in a second. And then it has 25 moons, 5 large, and then 20 small. And then the poles are perpetual night and day, and that's because it basically spins on its side. So 
Like I already said, the sun heats it unevenly. The rings are known as shepherding satellites. Um, its largest moon, one of its largest moons, um, Miranda has distinct regions, which has the cliffs, which is actually twice the time as Mount Everest. And then it does not emit more energy than it receives from the sun. And, well, there's the, the rings. Sorry for going out of order a little bit. This is the planet Uranus, and I told you it's already, it's the brighter blue. It's actually a very pretty blue. Here is the diagram showing the different layers. And then the fourth and final is Neptune. Neptune is the outermost planet. Its diameter is 3.9 times Earth. Its mass is 17 times Earth. The composition is ammonia, water, and methane. And they're act this one's actually very much like Saturn. Um, some facts. The, the blue color is also caused by methane, but as you'll see, it's a darker blue. Um, it has distinct cloud belts, so unlike Saturn, it actually does have the cloud belts, and that's because there's more sun in just the way that it's being heated. Um, it emits more energy than it receives from the sun. That's also another reason why it has cloud bands. And then this actually has the convection currents, which is also the winds and the Coriolis effect, and then it spins every 16 hours. Um, the winds are 2,200K per hour. The rings are actually made up of debris of small satellites or comets. It has 13 moons, 6 small, and then 7 others. And then the moon Triton has wrinkles and craters. And there's just different, the different regions of those. And then, same like Jupiter, it actually has a dark spot, if you could see it right there. You know, it kind of blends in, but it does have a dark spot. And I know that you cannot see the rings, but there are rings, too. And then, this is just another diagram showing you the different layers of Neptune. And then... Um, some other cool facts that I actually had in here were, um, some of the moons that I actually liked. Okay. Okay, so... Europa, Ganymede, it, which are Jupiter's moons, and Titan and Euclidus, which are Saturn's oceans, um, Saturn's moons, I'm sorry, they have oceans under their surfaces. And then all of these planets were actually named after Roman gods. Um, and then their surface temperatures are actually all different because of how the sun is heating them. Such as Jupiter's is negative 108 degrees Celsius. Saturn's is negative 139 degrees Celsius. Uranus has negative 197 degrees Celsius. And Neptune has negative 201 degrees Celsius. As I told you before, the lowest temperature is negative 100 degrees Fahrenheit and colder. And as you can see, this is in Celsius and it's even very cold. Um... The moons are made of water and ice and rock, except for the Io, which actually has a volcano, and it's it's actually active. And then Titan, which has rain. It's not really rain. It's actually liquid ethane, which is the carving rivers and, and lakes. And Triton is, actually has a backward orbit. So here are my references. I actually used the book that actually helped me a lot throughout this project, and it's the Introduction to Astronomy. And then I was looking at the different websites, and I found a really good one by um, the Jovian Planets Universe Today. And then I got a lot of the facts about 
the four Jovian outer planets, um, also known as the gas giants. And then I also use Looking for Life in All the Wrong Places by Discover Magazine. And I really hope that you guys learned a lot from this project. I actually, I know I did, and I really hope that you enjoyed watching my presentation. Thank you so much.